Okay, so I'm officially going to start this out with my opinion that myself, Alan and Marcus, we're just a bunch of babies. Let me break that down for you though. Now check this out. The wisest on earth, the greatest on earth is going to be the least in heaven. I, I, I sometimes wonder if we really sit back and think about what that means. You know, uh, I saw part of Alan's video that he just dropped and I don't think he actually mentioned Marcus's name, but I felt like I heard Marcus's name because I felt like that was probably somebody he was talking about. I could be wrong, but I felt like it was. Uh, I saw part of Marcus's video just a little while ago talking back to him and, and kind of making some responses because I felt like he probably even felt like it was about himself. And, and I'm just going to say this, uh, for the record, we're all babies. We're all going to learn firsthand from the Father someday. I've been wrong so many times in life. Uh, I don't even know if I've ever been right to tell you the truth. I think I have, but who knows, really. But this is the one thing I know. God is always right. God can use each and every one of us if we're willing. You know, when I watch these two brothers, uh, I get a different perspective from each one. With Alan, I get a, more of a, a factual perspective, straight biblical, just teaching the Word of God from his perspective, though, and opinion because we all get things right and wrong. And from Marcus, I see it more the same biblical perspective, but just in his day-to-day -day life and the things that he's going through. Me personally, that's how I preach. When I'm going day-to-day, -day, like I would be more of the type of preacher like Marcus is, where I'm literally speaking from experiences and my opinions on worldly things that I'm dealing with today and, and trying to relate it to a biblical perspective, where I see Alan teaches the Bible. He, he helps people to understand and learn what the Bible's saying and teaches it. And, and both of them, though, I think when they read that Bible, they get some things wrong. I, I just believe that with all of my heart. I don't think God reveals each and everything to, like correct to each and every one of us. Uh, I think some things that I know uh, are true. And some things I think I know are actually wrong. And, and the same with them. I, I think uh, some of the things that, that they think they don't really have a clue about, they might actually know so much. And, and vice versa. You know, I know uh, speaking in tongues is a big thing. Uh, I believe that God can allow anyone to speak in tongues. I believe in different steps of our faith is going to open and, and open us up to different operations and different departments in our life. This is what I'm going to say, though. You two brothers are so different. If you get on YouTube and you talk about each other, uh, that's easy. That's that's the division that's going to come in and steal the joy that God has for each of you when he, he uses you for the greatness that he's called you to be. You know, I, I think uh, Satan probably wants you guys divided. If I had to guess, I have a feeling Satan would like you divided while God would love to see the powerhouse unity that you guys could do together. You know, it's easy to pick apart each other's flaws. I can look at both of you and say, oh, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with this. Oh, I think he's wrong there. I think he's wrong there. But you could do that about me just as easy. We could do that so easily. However, this is the one thing that I know is true. When you read the Bible, every word you read is true. However, not all of us truly get the real understanding of those words in every aspect of the Bible. Marcus, I have a feeling God has revealed to you amazing secrets, amazing wonders, uh, amazing things through your faith. Alan, I believe the exact same thing about you, but I don't think you both know the same things. I think you both think you understand the Bible to the fullest. However, I think you also know that you don't know some things. We, we all know that. We, we, even when we think we're correct about everything, the humble man will realize he could be wrong. You know, when I get up and preach about the gospel and my faith in Jesus, uh, I actually like to say, I could be wrong. You better go to God and check that. This is the same thing right now. Anybody watching this video, check this. Matt, he could be wrong. You better go to the Bible and check that. But one thing I think the Bible teaches is that be careful to be the teacher because God's going to hold us to a higher standard and that most men will get it wrong. Think about that. Most men will get it wrong. What that tells me is if, if out of 100% of the things I, I, I've said in my life, I guarantee you there's a lot of wrong in it. There's a lot of wrong. If God's word's true, I, I guarantee a lot of the things that I thought were true were probably wrong. But here's one thing I know. I've always told this to people. When you let God use you, he will. I would suggest going and following both these brothers. I wouldn't unfollow either one. I would follow them both because you're going to get a perspective from two totally different views of God's word and what his truths are. And then this is what I would challenge you to do after that. Get your Bible. Follow along with it and let God talk to you. When they're talking about this or that, who knows what they're speaking on that day. 
make sure that uh, it lines up with the Bible and God says that same thing to you because you might jump in your Bible and God tells you something totally different to both of them and then wants you to reveal that to the world. Y'all check this. Let God use you and he will. I believe God has amazing plan through you brothers unity. Uh, I thank God for each and every one of you though. Like I love your perspectives, your opinions. Uh, I, I pray that you both keep preaching the gospel. Um, I challenge you to lift each other up, not look for the, each other's flaws, but look for each other's strengths and, and glorify God for the way he's using both you brothers. God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day. I'm out.